Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. Last week, an article speculating that online spying bill C-30 is dead led to an arrogant announcement from Public Safety Minister Vic Taves, who said that the government is intent on proceeding with the bill. While this was happening, Canadians kept up the charge. We released a video, which lives at openmedia.ca slash stand, and many of you watched and shared it to spread the word about how invasive and costly this warrantless online spying scheme would be. You recognized that spreading the word in as many ways as possible and keeping up the momentum is the best way to stop Bill C-30. At the same time, cybersecurity expert Christopher Parsons was pouring through articles and accessed information documents trying to determine the future of online surveillance in Canada. He dug through hundreds of pages of documents and confirmed this. The data obtainable without a warrant under the online spying bill is enough to erode online anonymity. He also confirmed that the bill will sweep up people in a digital dragnet regardless of whether they're suspected of any crime. And all of this would happen without anything close to appropriate oversight. Only one day after the launch of the video at openmedia.ca slash stand, NDP leader Thomas Mulcair sent a letter to petition signers indicating that his party shares our concerns. This is a big deal. This is the official opposition. The party that has the most seats in the House of Commons, save for the Conservatives, is on side with Canadians who oppose warrantless online spying on our internet use. Between this and the increasingly clear idea that the Conservative Party is in fact divided on online spying, with perhaps only a few MPs really pushing it forward, we can see that we've come a long way in bringing our voices to Parliament. Let's keep going. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca. Signing off.